Hey guys, what's up? It's 8 Eric. We're going to check out this game called Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tesos. This came out quite a while ago. Seems like a pretty cool little adventure game. We're just going to briefly start it, take a look at everything and stuff like that. Um, just a uh, kind of like a first impression. I've heard some good things about this game. I just kind of got held behind. Um, this came out quite a while ago. And uh, I just haven't played um, the game yet. I haven't gotten to check it out. But it definitely, look at this, reminds me of Link to the Past already. I like stuff like this. So we're a hero. We'll be that. Let's get out of the game. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. Oh my gosh, look at this. I am absolutely in love with the... Wow. I'm absolutely in love with the graphics already. So this guy needs a proper workshop. The old dungeon ruins are filled with my, with gems. Northeast. I got a sword, so I got I gotta go to the northeast. Head east and then go north. I gotta go to the mines. Okay, so east to Tufton Fields. Hero, can you hear me? Four titans of Tassos are grown restless while their spirits may be bound to the great dungeons. They're using their growing powers to conjure an... Okay. Head east. Follow the path northeast to... Okay. Oh, look, we got an enemy here. The attack is kind of crappy. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. This guy's attack kind of sucks. It's like a charge. Then it has that weird cooldown. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that attack. But I love the graphics. Oh, look at this. I got like a little achievement or something. I like that. Since Nintendo's against making achievements. Oh, there we go. We got a slash now. Okay. We got shield slash charge. This reminds me... Definitely of Net Legend of Zelda, and I'm gonna have to fucking definitely continue to sink the teeth into this one already. I think my teeth meter's pretty high right now. Look at that, I just killed like a big buffalo ox. This way. Oh, shoot. New area discovered Ambrose Lake. This, uh,. Did I get a secret? Nah, no secret. Thought I found a secret. This is so Legend of Zelda though. Not just because it's, I mean, well, mostly because it is top down. Take a look at this. And then the graphics are charming. His attack. All right, I'm, I'm gonna definitely live stream this. This is something that I'm gonna live stream. I'm, I'm already set on top of it. <laughs> All right, oh, can't go up there. I guess we gotta go this way. Come here, ox. Ollie Ollie oxen free. All right, so we're heading to the keep. That's the warp statue, but here's the key. I have to defeat the keep. How do I enter? Let's enter. Oh gosh, this is awesome. Alright, here we go guys. Floor 2, spin gym to unlock shortcuts. Okay, so it has roguelike elements, hence the name Rogue. There we go. Oh, shoot. Oh. Don't die. Oh, look, a bomb. Oof. Throw it, motherfucker.
Yeah, I have to figure out which teleportation device to go to. There we go. Look, it even has the pots. It even has the same pots. How was I supposed to get past that? Was I supposed to throw the pots on the spikes? <laughs> Killed by spikes. Revive. I was able to revive. Did that cost me gems or points or... I have no idea. Very interesting though. He's gonna tell me I died. Yeah, <laughs> saw a flash come strolling through the door. Wasn't sure you survived a trip. Wow. So that's funny. It's talking about... It's talking about, uh... Talking about how I magically appeared. <laughs> he saw a big flash and then I magically appeared in my house. I wonder if I just grabbed enough gems, like... Or coins slicing around like that. If it'll give me... Probably won't. But yeah, I, I'm, I think this is a very, very neat game. Albeit that was pretty... Pretty tough right there. Definitely a game that has a lot of replay value too. You could just you could just tell playing something like this. Old school feel as well. Oh look, I could destroy bushes and get a goal. Look at that on the bottom it's shown, you know, travel this many miles, destroy this many bushes. So it looks like there's different achievements and stuff that can lead to your character leveling up. Might as well. Yep, see? 61 out of 20. I mean, 200. So I just gotta slice 200 bushes. <laughs> and we'll be good to go. Imagine chopping down 200 bushes in real life. That'd be a lot of yard work. Yeah, I know. Trying to keep the small talk with you guys. Come on. Here we go. Oof. There we are. We're back to where I needed to be. Let's see if we can beat this dungeon. <laughs> that warp, I think, takes me back to the to the village. Nah, we're not gonna use it. Look, it even has the pushing animation. They definitely did a lot of inspiration from uh, A Link to the Past. Alright, let's get in here. Did it just cost me gems to, to get in here? Oh look, it procedurally generated so it's completely different now. Room clear. Nice! They cleared the room for me. I mean, this is definitely... Legend of Zelda. I mean, it lucked me out a lot. <laughs> I lucked out big time in this... Like we could do the grappling hook now. How do I? Oh, okay. There we go. Nice. 
So it even has the hook shot. My god. <laughs> it's not a bad thing that they uh took inspiration, I'll tell you that much. One of the greatest games of all time. Okay, how am I supposed to open any of those doors? Well, last bomb bag. So I have a bomb bag now. Oh, there we go. I have bombs now. How do I open that? Oh, I'm supposed to slice it. It's a fucking curtain. See, the same thing happened to me on Link to the Past. <laughs> when you're in Agnaham's castle. I was like, oh, it's a curtain. You're supposed to just slice it. Agnaham's, not Agnaham. Agnim. Probably not. How do you pronounce this fucking name? This is awesome. I'm definitely going to live stream this, guys. First impressions of this, or why the hell didn't I play this sooner? <laughs> That's my first impersonation. Definitely a hidden gem. I don't think next to anybody has talked about this one. Hidden chest. Nice. Very nice. How much? Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. And we're slicing some of our bushes part of that requirement. There was a snake. Hmm. There we go. Got on up. How am I supposed to zoom across that? No secret area either? Oh, come on, man. There we go. Do I have enough to open this? No, I need one more. Need one freaking more. Can I just leave the dungeon? I have enough gems. Ooh, there we go. What's this guy do? Oh, he sells stuff. I don't want that. I don't need it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... I'm gonna buy this. Ooh, that was well worth it. Well worth it. I wonder if I could just leave and go build the, uh, the dude's, dude's house. I didn't see any other doors, any other exits. You know what? I cannot leave. Nah, I think about it. Because it teleported me in here. This. Man, this is exactly like it. Look at the look at the stairs, the assets, the the moving floors. This is exactly like Link to the Past. 
Like to the fucking T. <laughs> I like it. This and Blossom Tales. I need to go back and play some Blossom Tales too. I need to not die. The room is clear. Make sure. Oh. Maybe I should have bought that map. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my butt whipped. Oh, I forget your character has a fucking stamina. He's a freaking stamina bar, I forget. Okay, I lit all those torches. Oh, look. Zelda time. <laughs> Complete with the little noise, too. The ding. Okay. The bats definitely take a lot more to, to die in this game than the original Zelda. I wonder if you have to clear the rooms. I don't think you do. Man, I'm gaining keys like a... Like a key collector. <laughs> Let's go ahead and exit. Through you. I don't have enough for that. Very curious as to what... Do I have to use the magic wand here? Do I have something that I gotta use right here? I'm not sure. Very weird though. Definitely gonna have to check it out. Oh shit. Come on. <laughs> I'm I'm not even gonna mess with that dude down there. Why well, these guys have skulls over them. I want to know. Whoa. Whiffer. Oh my gosh. They even have the... They even have the things that you can go... That you can move up and down. The, the, the little, like, blocks. The blockades. They even have those. Look. Hidden chest. See what's in it. Room clear. I guess we'll open this up. This reminds me of the room that I was in earlier. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just died. But I wonder if I could do the, the thing in the village now. So with a roguelike, all you really need to do is... uh is keep grinding and you die and you start back up at the hub and that's where you're able to power up your stuff and unlock things so maybe maybe now i have enough gems where's homie at there we go i gave him enough so now we're building his shop and i guess we build a little village as well that's kind of cool gives you some incentive to keep replaying and trying Go inside and let's see what he has to say. So he has a shop. I can upgrade my home. I can make a clinic. I can make a forge. Rusty needles. A tailor shop. Provisions. I would say... First thing that I need to do. Would 
would be the clinic. Oh, and I can even pick where I want it? Holy smokes. That's awesome. So it's also like a like a little uh, village like simulation game as well, too. That's awesome. I'm definitely coming back to this. Let's let's build something else. Oh, I thought I was gonna be I'm one fucking gem off for me to build the forge. That is awesome. Let's go check out the the clinic. It says it allows you to be able to upgrade your stuff. It almost looks like the Pokemon clinic. I can upgrade. Magic. Okay, I'm digging this, guys. I think this is something that we are going to come back to and definitely play. My first impressions are this is hidden gem territory. territory. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. This is awesome.